G'day everyone, today I'm doing a tutorial for my cover of Love Me Now by Ziggy Alberts. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking for this one for a while now, so I thought, right, finally time to do it. Um, I just want to start this video off by saying I am by no means a trained musician. I did about six months of guitar lessons when I was 12, and I'm now 18, so I'm basically self-taught. Um, and I also just wanted to add that I've never done a tutorial before, so bear with me. Hopefully it's not bad and we'll see what happens. Let's get into it. So the first thing that's probably important to know with this song, it's just in standard tuning, no capo, and it only needs three chords. First chord's an F. Second chord's a C. And then the third chord's a bit weird, it's a G on C which is basically a C shape with the third, with the second and the third finger moved up to the next string consecutively. Is that the right word? Sure, you get the idea. Um, strumming pattern is kind of just a... So what's that? Down. You get the idea for that too. Um, so then, with those chords, they basically are just played normally with the exception that there's a little sort of hammer-on pull-off before changing chords. So it's like... The only thing that's a bit sort of confusing about that one is when you've got the, the sort of G on C chord, the hammer on is actually on the D string for the first one and then the D and the A before you change back to the F. Um, so I'll play that a bit slower. So it's So that's the verse, um, about halfway through the verse, I think you just switch it up to just normal strumming for a bit. And then same goes for the chorus, which is just big, broad, strong strumming of normal chords. When he does the part where it's like, baby, can you love me now? Just super open, making it sound broad, I guess you'd say. Um, then pretty much that's it for the song. Oh, the bridge. You um, For the bridge, it's just soft, quiet strumming, really. It's just like... And then that builds intensity as you come into that final chorus where it's sort of just like that boom, like the belt at moment. I think that's all you need to know. As long as you've got an F chord, a C chord and a G on C, um, I think that's all you need to know. It's just that, that tricky little hammer on pull off on the end of those chords in the verse, I think is probably the most difficult part of the song. But besides that, it's just a, three chord wonder. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Um, if I did something bad, let me know. If I did something good, also let me know in the comments below. If I find any tabs or like sort of chord lists, I'll um, add that in the description below. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe.